Take nine. That quality of wide-eyedness you needed, and you weren't going to find that from somebody who'd been brought up in England. Stephen and I went to Mumbai, and we saw kind of everybody. I mean, days and days of people. There was something about Ali. He came in, and by the time he left the room, I said, well, I can see why Judy would like him. It was just he himself was so attractive and charming and likeable and handsome. It was easy to imagine that kind of tired, poor, tired person suddenly looked up and saw this wonderful young, good-looking young man, thought, oh, how lovely, somebody at last to talk to and beautiful to look at. This was the first time I came to London, and uh, it was exactly how, I guess, Abdul would have probably reacted. The way Abdul is, you know, a fish out of water in, in this completely new world, it's just a magical experience that it's just parallels his own life. It was amazing. I remember this one time entering the palace, one of the places where we were shooting, and and I just looked up and I was, I mean, I was in awe of this that whole setup, right now because I'd never seen all this stuff. We knew straight away that he was the, the right actor for the movie, but it is a tough job sharing screen time for such a, a significant part of the movie with Judi Dench. He was just delightful to work with. We got on very, very well indeed. We'll FaceTime Judy today. When we were filming, Judy used to say, you know, How's my beloved? Where's my beloved? As she looked across the room to make sure that we were looking after him. So it was kind of love at first sight for the two of them. When she looks at Ali and they run their Urdu lines together, you know, there's just crackling electricity in the room. It's beautiful to watch. Yes, yes. I'll show you a magic trick. Yeah? Ha, 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 ha.